welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a lemon meringue pie so if you guys would love to see how I made this lemon meringue pie just keep on watching so the first thing we're going to start off with is our crust you're going to mix all-purpose flour sugar salt and lemon zest in a medium-sized bowl So next we're going to add our cold cube butter to the flour mixture. You can use a pastry cutter like I'm using here or even a food processor to make this dough. You want to start mixing the butter and the flour together until you get a sandy texture. Next we're going to add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of cold water. Then we're going to mix that until it forms a ball. Then we're going to wrap the dough in plastic and place it in the fridge for 15 minutes. So on a lightly floured surface, you're going to roll out your chilled dough to about an 11 inch round. So next you're going to roll your dough onto your rolling pin and then unroll the dough onto a pie pan. Next you're going to press the dough onto the pan and carefully using your rolling pin you're going to remove any excess dough. So now we're going to place our pie crust into the freezer for about 10 minutes. So next we are going to blind bake our crust. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to place parchment paper on top of your chilled dough and also remember to cut your parchment paper bigger than your pie pan so it will be easier to remove the pie weights later on. For some weird reason I forgot to do that. So next we're going to add our pie weights or dry beans to your pastry dough and we're going to bake this for about 15 minutes in a 375 degree oven. After the 15 minutes, you're going to remove the pie weights and parchment paper and bake for an additional 10 minutes. So now we're going to start on our lemon filling. You're going to add sugar, cornstarch, salt, and lemon zest in a medium sized pot. Next you're going to add freshly squeezed lemon juice and you're going to mix that until combined. So now we're going to add our egg yolks. You're going to add your egg yolks one at a time and you're going to cook this on medium heat just until it thickens. So this next step, I thought I filmed it but then realized that my battery died. So the last step in making your lemon filling is once it starts to thicken up, you're going to remove it from the heat and then you're going to add 3 tablespoons of butter. Then you're going to stir to combine and you're going to set that aside. So next we're going to make our meringue. We're going to add 3 egg whites and salt to a mixer and we're going to mix it until it reaches soft peaks. So for soft peaks, the peaks should fall over slightly. Next we're going to add sugar a little bit at a time and we're going to mix this through until you have a shiny meringue with nice peaks. So 
So now that we are ready to assemble our pie, we're going to pour our lemon filling onto our cooled pie crust. And you're going to spread that around evenly. Next we're going to add our beautiful meringue right on top of our lemon filling and we're going to start to create peaks and swirls. So now we're going to put this in the oven for about 5 minutes so our meringue can get nice and toasty and beautiful. So one thing that I've noticed is that I did not have a torch so I just went and put this under my boiler. But you have to be super super careful if you're doing that because it's going to burn in an instant. So you have to keep your eye on it. But I don't really mind how it came out. It actually came out really nice. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a little bit of lemon zest on top and I'm twisting some lemon zest strips on my um, lemon meringue and I just wanted to give it a little bit of a special touch. Alright guys, so I have my lemon meringue pie that I'm going to take a really big bite of because it looks amazing. It's so tangy, so fluffy from the meringue. It's just perfect. It tastes so good. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys want to watch future videos of mine, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys. Mm.